Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, was the longest serving British consort in history, having been married to Elizabeth II from before her reign began until his death in 2021. Though born in Greece into two royal families, the Greek and Danish royal families, his family was exiled from Greece when he was only a baby. He lived and was educated in France, Germany and the UK, and in 1939 he met his future wife, the then Princess Elizabeth. Prince Philip was born in Corfu, a Greek island, on the 10th of June 1921. The youngest of five children and the only son, his parents were Prince Andrew of Greece and Denmark and Princess Alice of Battenberg, a great-granddaughter of Queen Victoria. In 1922, Prince Philip's uncle Constantine I of Greece abdicated and his father was banished from Greece. Philip's family moved to France and lived in a house lent to them by his aunt, Princess George of Greece and Denmark. In 1930, Prince Philip lived with his grandmother, Victoria Mountbatten, in Kensington Palace and with his uncle, George Mountbatten, in Berkshire. In the early 1930s, all of his sisters married German princes and moved to Germany. His mother was institutionalised in an asylum and his father moved to Monte Carlo. Philip had little contact with his family, especially his mother. In 1937, Prince Philip's favourite sister, Cecily, died in an airplane crash along with her husband, her sons and her newborn daughter. In 1938, George Mountbatten died from cancer and Lord Louis Mountbatten took guardianship of Philip. Philip was educated at a number of schools, including Gordonson School. In 1939, Philip completed his training for the Royal Navy and during the Second World War, he fought for the British. In 1939, Philip met Princess Elizabeth, the eldest child of George VI, when the royal family visited the Royal Naval College, Dartmouth. On this faithful day, Elizabeth fell in love with Philip and they began to send letters to each other. In 1946, Philip asked the king for permission to marry Elizabeth. And though the king did grant permission, he asked them to postpone any announcement or formal engagement until after Elizabeth's 21st birthday in 1947. In March 1947, Philip renounced his Greek and Danish titles and took his mother's surname, Mountbatten. In July of that year, Philip and Elizabeth's engagement was announced. In October, Philip was officially received into the Church of England. Before the wedding, Philip was given the title of Duke of Edinburgh, and on the 20th of November 1947, the couple were married in Westminster Abbey. Due to his sisters being married to Nazis and German princes, he was unable to invite them to the wedding. Philip and Elizabeth honeymooned in Broadlands. Philip and Elizabeth lived in Clarence House for most of the early years of their marriage, occasionally leaving the country when Philip's job in the Navy required him to. The couple's first two children, Charles and Anne, who were born in 1948 and 1950 respectively, were born during the life of George VI. Their youngest two children, Andrew and Edward, born in 1960 and 1964 respectively, born almost a decade after Princess Anne. On the 6th of February 1952, while in Kenya, Philip learned of the news that his father-in-law, George VI, was dead and broke the news to Elizabeth. Elizabeth was now Queen of the United Kingdom. The coronation was held in June 1953. The question of the royal house's name came up very quickly. At the time of Elizabeth's ascending the throne, women traditionally took their husband's surname. However, this was not the case for Elizabeth and Philip. The house's name remained Windsor, and only in 1960 did Elizabeth declare that their male line descendants, who were not styled as prince or princess, would take the surname Mountbatten-Windsor. As consort, 
Philip supported his wife and accompanied her on many official visits and events. In 1956, the Duke founded the Duke of Edinburgh's award, and in 1956 also, he opened the Summer Olympics in Melbourne. In 1957, amidst rumours that the Queen and her husband were drifting apart, the Queen granted her husband the style of a Prince of the United Kingdom, and also appointed him to the Privy Council for Canada. During his time as a working member of the royal family, Philip was patron of 800 organisations. In August 2017, Philip retired from public duty after completing 22,219 solo engagements. He only made occasional public appearances after retiring for events such as the weddings of his grandchildren. On the 9th of April 2021, Prince Philip died at Windsor Castle with his wife beside him. He was 99 years old. His official cause of death was old age. Due to COVID restrictions being in place at the time, only 30 people could attend his funeral. As such, none of his great-grandchildren were able to attend. Like his wife, Philip was known for his longevity. In 2009, he became the longest-serving British royal consort and the oldest ever male member of the British royal family in 2013. On the 17th of April 2021, Prince Philip's funeral was held at St George's Chapel and he was interred in the royal vault. In 2021, at the time of his death, he was the third longest lived member of the British royal family after his mother-in-law, the Queen Mother, and Princess Alice, Duchess of Gloucester. Anthony Armstrong Jones was the husband of Princess Margaret, Countess of Snowdon, from 1960 until 1978. He was born on the 7th of March 1930 to Ronald Armstrong Jones and Anne Messel. He had an older sister named Susan and three half-siblings from both of his parents' other marriages. His parents divorced in 1935, shortly before Anthony's fifth birthday. His mother remarried that same year with his father remarrying the following year. He attended Sandroid School and Eton College. When he was 16 years old, he contracted polio and only his sister Susan visited him during the six months he was recovering. He then went on to study at Jesus College, Cambridge University, where he studied architecture. He then worked as a photographer where he thrived as a fashion design and theatre photographer. His stepmother's friend introduced Anthony to Baron, the photographer. Baron was impressed by Anthony's talent and took him on as an apprentice. Anthony later became known for his royal portraits, which included official portraits of Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh. In 1958, Anthony met Princess Margaret, the sister of Queen Elizabeth II, at a supper party. The following October, they became engaged. They married on the 6th of May 1960 at Westminster Abbey, and their wedding was the first to be broadcast on television in the UK. They moved into Kensington Palace initially declining a title when Margaret became pregnant with their first child they decided to take a title and the Queen bestowed them the title of Earl and Countess of Snowdon. They had two children David and Sarah. Before the marriage took place Anthony had an affair with Camilla Fry and this resulted in the birth of a daughter Polly born in May 1960. Jeremy Fry, the husband of Camilla, and Anthony both denied the affair, and Fry claimed Polly as his daughter. Following Jeremy's death, Anthony admitted that the DNA test Polly had taken did in fact show that Anthony was her biological father. 
As the husband of Princess Margaret, he took on a number of royal engagements, but preferred to work as a photographer. He published in several magazines including Vogue, Vanity Fair and the Sunday Times magazine. His documentary, Don't Count the Candles, in 1978 won seven awards including two Emmys. For the investiture of his nephew, Prince Charles, as Prince of Wales, Anthony was heavily involved in the physical arrangements of the ceremony. In 1971, Anthony was granted the patent for a type of electric wheelchair. The marriage of Anthony and Margaret fell apart quickly. They were toxic for each other, both engaged in affairs with other people. Anthony's greatest motivation was work, but Margaret wanted him to be with her more. He left his wife lists of things he hated about her around their house. Eventually, they separated in 1976 and divorced two years later. Anthony continued to live at Kensington Palace following the divorce. In December 1978, Anthony married Lucy Mary Lindsay Hogg. Their only child together, Francis, was born the following year. Anthony had a number of affairs throughout the years and in 1998 he fathered a son named Jasper Cable Alexander by Melanie Cable Alexander. Lucy and Anthony separated following the revelation of this in 2000. In 1999, Anthony was created Baron Armstrong Jones, a life peerage, in order to retain his seat at the House of Lords. Despite no longer being married to Princess Margaret, he maintained a close relationship with the royal family, and at the funeral of his former wife, he was amongst the leading mourners. On the 13th of January 2017, Anthony died at the age of 86. His son David succeeded as the second Earl of Snowdon.